In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the Cobbleverse for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser like you normally would. Then all you want to do is you want to look up CurseForge app download just like so and go to the official CurseForge.com website. Then go ahead and select on download standalone right over here. Then it is going to install the CurseForge installer.exe file. Depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right like me, but if you don't see it, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and look underneath downloads. But all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just open up this file just like so. Then a pop up like this will appear. So go ahead and press on next. Then go ahead and press on I accept. Then go ahead and press on next. And now it is going to begin installing CurseForge. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Symbol Game Hosting. Symbol Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up your very own unlimited slot 24 7 server for you and and all your friends. And the best part about Symbol Game Hosting is that you're able to upload mods such as Cobblemon, Cobbleverse, Pixelmon, etc. And you can go ahead and play that with you and all your friends. And you can do so with the click of a single button. There's also dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything and 24 seven live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. At the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. But anyways, that's enough yapping out of me. So once you went ahead and installed CurseForge, then a menu like this will appear. So go ahead and just press on finish, just like so. Then it is now going to open up CurseForge for the very first time. So if it's your first time ever downloading CurseForge, then it is going to ask you what game you wanna play. So you just wanna go ahead and select on Minecraft, then as you're able to tell, I already do have a bunch of mods and mod packs that I did install throughout the years. But if you just went ahead and downloaded it, then it is going to be empty. Anyways, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on browse just like so. Then from here, what you can do is you can go ahead and scroll down and you should be able to find Cobbleverse right over here. Or you can go ahead and go to the search bar and just look up Cobbleverse. It really is up to you. All right. But anyways, here is the Cobbleverse mod. And all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on this install button just like so. And now it is going to begin installing the Cobbleverse. And it really shouldn't take that long. It is somewhat of a big mod, but it's not as big as some of the other mod packs. So it will take a moderate amount of time to download. So just be patient. Then it is going to open up the Minecraft launcher. And if it's your first time ever using CurseForge, then you may need to sign into your Microsoft account. So please be prepared to do that. But anyways, in the version selector, please make sure that Cobbleverse is selected. Then go ahead and press on play. Then go ahead and press on I understand. And then it is going to load into Minecraft. All right, guys. And then as you're able to tell, we do have Cobbleverse right over here. We got Palkia and Diaga. And this honestly looks absolutely sick. All right, guys. So here we are in the Cobbleverse. So from here, you guys can join some servers. You guys could also create your very own Cobbleverse world. And this this is honestly pretty cool if I do say so myself. All right, boys, and here we are. And things honestly look absolutely insane. So from here, you guys can go ahead and have a ton of fun. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.